Hi guys, we're at the airport here in Phoenix, Arizona. We are heading out to going east North Car Carolina. So we are at Justin and Rebecca Rhodes's place. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Gonna keep holding you so you won't leave. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, we're at Arden Bree's house from the Arden Bree channel. We've had a really good time and they've been joining art here on their winter low season chores. And it's just so beautiful here right now, the fresh air and everything. Really enjoying the time with them and getting to exchange some thoughts and experience. And their property is so beautiful. They have enough in there that they're fine. You guys still got eggs right now from the kitchen? We don't. No. You don't just know. have old ones, or is it just the weather right uh, now? I think it's the weather because sev some of them are old, but some of them are qu quite young. So yeah, um, I feed. I'm feeding these pigs. I honestly, because of these hey, the American guinea hogs grow so slow. Yeah, my goal is honestly to feed them enough that they won't run through their fence yeah. in search of food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally, because you can pump so much feed yeah. into the pigs that it's absolutely no return, yeah. you know? And they, if I don't feed them on one end of the spectrum, they will escape. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, yesterday morning they were out. You know, our pigs that yeah. we just processed um, a few a few weeks ago, like a couple yeah. months ago when I was, we had not fed them with much um, grain and stuff. We had, we had fed them mainly, you know, with, um, yeah, what they could find outside and because of the drought that wasn't very much mm -hmm. and then they have eaten, you know, leftovers from the garden and stuff and um, the one, the guy we bought them from, mm -hmm. he had fed them with expensive pig feed mm -hmm. daily and his his pigs almost weighed double mm -hmm. processed, mm -hmm. but his his feed cost yeah. was like not just double; it was like yeah. quadruple or, yeah. or more. So, 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 so he contacted us even and asked about that, you know, and and he's like, you know what? I, I yes, you had less fat on your pigs. Mm -hmm. It was still good flavor and all that, but yeah. you know, we the the cost. I mean, he. He had to pick up his chalk from the floor when he saw his bill, you know? <laughs> So he's yeah. half. That's why he's fairly small. Yeah. Yeah. So he, I, yeah. he was really tiny compared to. I yeah. mean, he was really short compared to his mom. Yeah. <laughs> one of you to Sweden yeah. or two of you I think we should pack you up with a, with a 
two puppies and about 15 bales, round bales of hay and send that back with you. <laughs> that, that's exactly what we need. <laughs> yeah, and a couple of pigs. That's right. So we're here, just ate breakfast, finished things up with Art and Brie. Um, it went a little bit different than uh, was planned originally because um, they're um, bright and they're second youngest, right? Yeah. He, he fell and broke his arm, so it was a bit crazy. Uh, we were super glad that we could help and um, be here, but um, things went a little different, so we maybe didn't get to film as much as we would have liked to for you guys to show you their awesome homestead, but um, it was a really good time anyway. So thank you, Art and Brie. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys should all follow them. Really cool channel. So. So we just left Art and Bree's house not too long ago and we are now, we've, it has been so exciting, it's been such a good time, um, first the roads and now Art and Bree and now we're heading to Polyface Farm, um, maybe one of the world's most famous farms um, with Daniel Salatin running the farm and Joel Salatin being such a well-known and outspoken farmer fighting the cause of local food production and we are just so excited that we get to go there um, we've been in touch with them several times and officially they're closed down right now but um, we planned this a while back and um, they will will be able to meet with Joel and um, get some footage uh, for you guys as well so it is very exciting it's kind of a dream come true um, just the same way as when we visited Paul Gauci in, in Washington on the Olympic Peninsula so um, we are very excited and to share that with you and a lot of the things that we have been promoting on our channel are really uh, knowledge and experience that has come from him and that we've put to a test and, and um, really found to be so helpful so it's very exciting and we're just enjoying beautiful beautiful ride here in North Carolina and crossing through Tennessee and, and going all the way to uh, Virginia very exciting 